Over the past few weeks, we've been learning how to put together our property investment strategy. It's very important. And last time we sorted out our finances, right, Tim? Now what do we do? How do we put this plan into action? Sure, well, once you've identified what it is that you're gonna be able to spend, before you start looking at the individual house itself, the next thing you wanna look at is the area. Ultimately, the area is gonna be the single largest factor that determines the growth that you're gonna get out of a long-term investment strategy. Yeah, right, how do we find a good area? Where are they? It's important to understand that different areas in Australia operate on different property cycles and you're going to be far more benefited by buying in an area that's at the early stages or upswing of its property cycle rather than buying somewhere you feel safe but maybe is destined for you know a couple of years of flat or possibly even negative growth. Okay, so keep an eye out right around the country. That's it. What do we avoid in an area? People often say you always have to buy 10 kilometres from the city, okay? What a lot of people don't realise is that property growth moves in a ripple effect. It's more about timing than about buying 10 kilometres from the right. city. Uh, another very common myth is that you want to buy in uh, blue chip suburbs. When in actual fact, if you look at the historical data over time, what you'll find it's always areas that are underneath the median house price that over long term have produced the best growth. And these can often be suburbs that you wouldn't necessarily think are the areas that are going to grow the most. So it's very important to be able to separate your emotions from the numbers and the statistics. Totally, but where do you get that information? I wouldn't know the first place to look. You've got to be careful who you listen to. Typically, I will avoid market commentators, which are people that might have some form of vested interest in what's going to be happening in the, in the property market. And I go straight for the analysts. There are multiple sources out there, companies, organisations, that do analysis and collection of, of data when it comes to property investment. You know, I want to keep it straight about the numbers. So it's all about getting that right information, isn't it? Yeah, look, if you want to make the most money, you've got to make it based on the numbers and not on your emotions. Good advice. And if you want any more information, you can always get onto infinitewealth.com.au.